people the uh, feeling and the reality that they will be protected from guns in the wrong hands. Senator Obama, the District of Columbia has a law, it's had a law since 1976, it's now before the United States Supreme Court, that prohibits ownership of handguns, a sawed-off shotgun, a machine gun, or a short-barreled rifle. Is that a law consistent with an individual's right to bear arms? Well, Charlie, I confess I obviously haven't listened to the briefs and looked at all the evidence. Uh, as a general principle, I believe that the Constitution uh, confers an individual right uh, to bear arms. But just because you have an individual right does not mean that the state or local government can't constrain the exercise of that right. Uh, and, you know, in the same way that we have a right to private property, but local governments can uh, establish zoning ordinances that determine how you can use it. Uh, and I think that it is going to be important for us to reconcile what are two realities in this country. There's the reality of gun ownership uh, and the tradition of gun ownership that's passed on from generation to generation. Uh, you know, when you listen to people who uh, uh, have have hunted uh, and they talk about the fact that they went hunting with their fathers or their mothers uh, then that is something that is deeply important to them and culturally but they care about deeply but you also have the reality of what's happening here in Philadelphia and what's happening in Chicago uh, uh, and, but do you still do you still favor the registration of guns do you still favor the licensing of guns and and in 1996 you your campaign issued a questionnaire and your writing was on the questionnaire that said you favored a ban on handguns. No, that, my writing wasn't on that particular questionnaire, Charlie. As I said, the I have never favored uh, all-out uh, ban on handguns. Uh, what I think we can provide is common sense uh, approaches to uh, the issue of illegal guns that are ending up on the streets. We can make sure that criminals don't have guns in their hands. We can make certain that those uh, who are mentally uh, deranged are not getting hold of handguns. We can trace guns that have been used in crimes to unscrupulous gun dealers that may be selling to straw purchasers and dumping them on the streets. The point is is that what we have to do is get beyond the politics of this issue and figure out what in fact is working. Look, in my hometown of Chicago, on the south side uh, of Chicago, we've had 34 gun deaths last year uh, of Chicago public school children. Uh, and I think that most law-abiding gun owners all across America would recognize that it is perfectly appropriate for uh, local communities and states and the federal government to try to figure out how do we stop that kind of killing. Senator Clinton. You Good evening, everybody. The Supreme Court today declared for the first time that Americans have the right to own guns for self-defense. The justices struck down a 32-year-old ban on handguns in Washington, D.C. This was the first time the Supreme Court has overturned a gun control law, saying it violated the Second Amendment. Now, gun rights activists are now planning to challenge gun control laws in other jurisdictions. Jean Meserve reports from Washington. Jean. Kitty, this Supreme Court decision was a blockbuster that is already reverberating around the country. At a gun shop in Georgia, hundreds of miles from the District of Columbia, they cheered the end of the D.C. handgun ban. I thought I may celebrate and buy a gun today. In an effort to stop a wave of violence, D.C. put the sweeping handgun ban in place 32 years ago. But in a 5-4 to four ruling, the Supreme Court said the ban violates the constitutional right of individuals to keep and bear arms. It is not the role of this court to pronounce the Second Amendment extinct, just as Antonin Scalia wrote for the majority. The Senator Obama agreed with the Supreme Court decision today to strike down Washington, D.C.'s gun law. Well, he, he acknowledges and he's always said that uh, an individual has a right to bear arms. That's one of the things that the court decided today. The court also said that communities throughout the country can set reasonable safety measures that they deem necessary. The court ruled today that Washington had gone too far. But the important thing that the court did agree on today was, one, something that Barack uh, believes in, which is an individual's right to bear arms, as well as communities that can set reasonable and common sense safety measures as long as those two uh, equal up. And I think that's the guidance that the Supreme Court offered cities throughout the country today. Senator McCain says that Obama has changed his position on gun control to suit the mood of the country. What do you think? Well, it's the same old Washington political talk that we get from the McCain campaign every day. Uh, I think our statements have been crystal clear on this. Again, 
he supports law-abiding gun owners and their right to, to bear arms. And I think that's what he'll, that's the right that he'll uphold as president. Uh, and I think that's what he talked about today. All right, how does, what?